a good attitude, good effort today, good energy at practice. So, uh, you know, I've been playing the ends, they know it, so just kind of got to polish it all up, clean it up, keep keep getting uh, getting it right. What did you review today? Today's so Monday practice, so it's all first down, just regular game. So, uh, you know, I mean, tomorrow's third down and then red zone on uh, Wednesday. And, um, you know, that Thursday's the cleanup day. Friday routine, kick it off Saturday, whatever. You guys have been pretty balanced offensively all season, but pretty pretty bare bones there when you look at the game, games you guys have lost, just haven't been able to run the ball for more than 100 yards. It's pretty much as simple as that to get the offense going. Run well, the ball. I mean, you always want to run the ball, but, you know, in some of those games you fall behind early, so you kind of have to change your game plan and the routine. I think every game's a little bit different and how it all plays out as far as sticking with the game plan and how you adjust your approach. What do you think about the offense in that game? Obviously, the last five games. They've done pretty good, you know. We've moved the ball. you got to score points. And i got to finish, you know. I mean, you look at opportunities we had. I look at, I mean, I look at the last game. We should have had 35 points in the first half. You know, offensively, just missed opportunities. So, we just really should have kind of had it all opened up and after. And, uh, you know, but, but you got to execute clean to make that stuff happen. I think the Ole Miss game and the running struggle with people. When you look at the film, what was it, off the line problem or just something else? No, I mean, guys making critical mistakes. You know, I mean, had a bunch of them, had more MAs than that's I mean, that game right there. We probably should have scored at least 35 in the first half when you watch the film. You, know, you just watch guys that don't haven't made mistakes all year make mistakes go the wrong way on three straight plays. And, uh, on the line, Tyler missing wide open receivers, that sort of stuff. What do you see from Ladarius you know, just working through these struggles, he and the other running backs, kind of attitude they have? It's pretty good. If he has a good game, it'll be another 1,000 yard rusher for us. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It seems, yeah, he's pretty good. That's close. not really struggling, I don't think, to have a 1,000 yard no. season, but I think uh, they just keep working. I mean, he's done, a, he's done a really good job. I think a lot of people had doubts of what he could do. You know, and whether a fast back will fit in the offense, you know, so we had some big backs, but obviously they do. Uh, Robinson and Milton kind of stepped into that role with Nick Allen. Done good. You know, I mean, I think they've prepped all year ready to do it. And, uh, you know, in practice, I mean, they're always ready for the next guy to step in and, and take the reins and do his job. Well, the GA, Rob McNair, got to work some of the cornerbacks. I guess the uh, different guys getting to work with them and just a good chance for him to. Yeah, well, I mean, Tony's there and just, you know, move Ryan to help back a little bit on the back end some. Uh, you know, I was over there helping with the drill or two today. So, you know, I mean, and just and just getting a balance at different times of practice. You know, when we separate the secondary uh, to make sure we have somebody to do it, and then you know they do a lot of group work together. And Tony will run all the meetings. Uh, the drill work sometimes. Safeties are doing one drill, corners are another drill. We'll split it up. The way they work to utilize the quarterbacks, get those guys in the game at the same time sometimes. And Pat said, they're two of our best 11 offensive players. So, you know, would you do the same thing in that position? Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, the like key that. is offensively. You want, to, you want to put your best guys on the field. And, you know, I think a, you know, I mean, they're a very well-coached team. So that's part of always having the ability to tweak your offense and the style of offense you're around, around the strength of the players that you have. And they do it very well. Did you see any film of the game where uh, Colin or Klein, what was the running quarterback's name? That's another question. Anyway, where he caught nine yeah, passes, Colt, Colt, yeah, Colt, 160 Colt. yards. Oh yeah. On that one. oh yeah. I mean, was the guy as good as any wide receiver on the field that yeah, day? I mean, he's a really good football player, and I think when you when you move from the quarterback position, you have a different perspective out there of receiver. I think you know guys that have played quarterback or play some quarterback when you do that. Had guys in the past do that sort of stuff. I think they have a different feel than a lot of the receivers have being out there. You know, they're viewing it as from a quarterback's perspective. But, uh, and can be pretty dangerous players. See a lot of similarities between you and Pat, and just you know, see what he's done seventh, seventh year, and they made a big commitment to him, and vice versa. And winning well, yeah, you hope. I mean, that's. I mean, they're they're probably ahead of where we are. Right. You know, I mean, a couple years ahead of where we are, but I mean, we hope uh, you know to continue to have the same sustained success that they've had there. You mentioned working with the corners. Is that something you've done very often before? And what's kind of through the season? How much do you work with them? Oh, a bunch. Mm -hmm. I work with. I mean, I every day. I kind of just depends on different things. I get around with different positions, mm -hmm. so it's not like it's something real foreign. I mean, it's. I, I actually, you know, what? And I think when I you get around, it's to me. I can see both sides of the ball. So you get it with a different position. You're bringing maybe a different perspective than the position coach does. Mm -hmm. You know, the. Uh, I guess the only perspective that doesn't change less quarterbacks because Les and I are both work with the quarterbacks a whole bunch. But 
you know, when you sit and talk to corners, I'm showing them things all throughout the season through an offensive, how the offensive guys viewing what they're doing. So it's a little different information than how it pertains on the defensive side of the ball as well. You go into bowl games, some coaches like to, you know, put in a couple of new things to catch everybody off guard. I mean, how much do you look at that? And you have to be careful because there's so much time. There's a lot of time to draw up a lot of fun plays out there, but you can kind of get yourself doing too much. So we've tried to, uh, you know, I mean, we'll, we'll have a couple little, a couple little tweaks in, the, in what we've done throughout the year, but uh, you know, overall, you want to just kind of make sure you're doing what we do well.